There you go, 7.48. Now, uh, I mean this nicely, he's arguably Australia's geekiest geek. By day, Jonathan Oxer runs an internet company, but when he gets home, he turns into George Jetson. <laughs> Everything in Jonathan's house is controlled by a chip in his arm, touch pads or mobile phones, which are hooked up to a central computer system. The result is a look into the household of the future. Jonathan joins us now from his home in Melbourne. Jonathan, good morning to you. Now, start by showing us how you get in the front door. Sure. Well, this is the thing that most people seem to be interested in. What I have here next to the door is a little RFID reader. You've probably seen these on um, buildings like offices where you have a little card about the size of a credit card. You, wipe it to, you swipe it to get in. Um, I happen to have the same technology implanted in my arm. So what I can do is simply move my arm over the reader and the door unlocks and then I can go inside. Um, because the door lock is also connected to the computer system, I can control this also from my mobile phone. So I wouldn't even have to be at home. I can simply press a button on my mobile phone and the door unlocks. Wow. Did, how does everybody else get into the house? Does your whole family have <laughs> chips or just you? Um, other people can carry chips just on a key tag uh -huh. or it could be in their wallet or purse or something like that. Um, and also the regular key still works. Oh, good to know. All right. And, uh, <laughs> I'll just show you the, um, the chip itself that's inside my arm. This is basically the same as I was saying as the as an access control card. It's just miniaturised. It's about the size of a grain of rice. Oh! So that's just implanted under wow. my skin. And then and then everything like um, Lee Majors um, you used to do, do that in the Bionic Man, didn't he? Um, <laughs> years ago. Yeah. So you're doing it as well. It doesn't it, make me run. <laughs> it doesn't make me run any faster. And it's all hooked up to your computer system. That's right. So there is a computer um, which is running some software that I've written and some connected to some custom hardware which connects to all the devices around the house. So okay. this is probably the most complete room in the house so far. This is the bathroom. Um, but what I can do from here, for example, is from my mobile phone, I can lower the blinds. Mm. Um, all of the lights are controlled and things like that. Yep. Um, well, but the cool isn't it is easier just to flick a switch or pull them down? Oh, that's so boring. <laughs> that is pretty easy. Yeah. That, but it, yeah, thanks, Mel. It is boring. Yeah, exactly. Um, Everyone does that. the really interesting thing... <laughs> that's right. I mean, Kochi, do you get off your couch to change the channels on your TV anymore? Uh, all right, no, yes. Too so. shy. I'm too shy. <laughs> so what else, ha what else um, can you do there? Well, the interesting thing, um, Kochi was talking about whether this is useful. One of the interesting things is once you have a whole lot of different things automated, you can tie them together. For example, because my door locks are controlled by the computer, um, curtains are controlled, lights are controlled, when you leave home in the morning, you know, first thing you've got to do is make sure all the lights are off, make sure all the curtains are closed. By tying it all together, what I can do is issue a single command, like leave home or lock house, and the computer turns off all the lights for me, closes all the curtains, locks all the doors, so I don't need to go around and do it manually and maybe overlook something. Mm. So there are benefits to it. Now, what happens if there's and, a blackout? Uh, are you a bit knackered with that? <laughs> No, it's actually not as bad as it sounds. The way it's set up, all of the regular technology still works. So a door lock still works with a mechanical key. Oh. This just provides additional functionality. It doesn't actually take away the old functionality. Okay, and can you can turn all the light switches on sort of manually if you have to, and obviously the blinds and everything. So well, if, if, you know, a, you're not around and the chip's not there and stuff, there's other ways to do it. Exactly. That's right. Yep. That's right. Um, you can still control lights and things normally. One of the things that you notice about a lot of very high-tech homes is that um, you know, a guest comes in and they can't turn on the lights because everything's not set up the way they expect it to yeah. be. So hey. my, my goal here is to make it as easy to use as possible. Can I ask, can you feel the chip in your arm and do you bip at the airport? <laughs> um, for a little while I could feel it just under the skin, but I can't even feel it anymore. It used to feel like a little lump, but that's pretty much gone away. Oh. Um, and the actual chip itself is so small that it can't even be detected by the scanners. I mean, oh. It's smaller than a filling, for example, so there's no way it could be detected. Oh, OK. Um, now, wow. um, I, I notice, you're, is your house undergoing renovation or you're, um, you're no handyman? You're more into technology? <laughs> No, it is undergoing very major renovation. Oh, okay. Um, the, room, the room we just walked through, um, just out this way back into the lounge room, yep. um, just until quite recently there was a wall straight across here. Right. And where I'm standing now used to be the kitchen, there was a, a sink here. Um, so all of this is being changed quite dramatically. We've just wow. moved the kitchen out into another part of the house. Gee, you've got a lot so on, everything is being lot moved on your plate. 
All right, Jonathan, thank you for yeah. that. It's a big job. It's yeah, a thanks big for job. the tour. See you. Thanks, You're Jonathan. Welcome. Very techy. Wow. A look into the future. Yeah. Do you want a chip in your arm? <laughs> Let's go. No, I'll, I'll leave it to the one in Molly's ear. For the, uh, <laughs> for the council. Molly is his dog. Oh, just yeah, yeah so it's sure. no family or anything like that. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know about it. I'm not sure. Okay. Up soon, how families can survive higher interest rates and what the pollies should be doing to help. We have some practical advice. But straight ahead, midweek news, sport and weather details. You'll wake up with friends on hump day. Get out of